This video is brought to you by the Crafts Channel. For more exciting party themed ideas, check out the rest of our special celebration series. Hi, I'm Abby Southern here at the Crafts Channel and I'm with Corin Brad. What are we going to make today, Corin? Well, today I'm going to make some lollipop concertina flowers like these. These are really cool actually and they're so simple to make. And they make, again, great party decorations for just to pop into little pots in the garden or you can even use them to stick in the middle of your... Perhaps a bit big for a cupcake, but you know the sort of thing. You can always make little ones and put them in a cupcake. Yeah, but they're very, very pretty and they're very, very simple to make. So I've got here a scoring board which has got divisions of five millimetres each time. Um, something like this is really handy for this. I mean, you could use your traditional scoring board um, and just keep moving the paper across, but you'd have to be quite exact. Yep. Um, what you'd normally do, now I'm left-handed, so I'm going to line my paper up to the left-hand border of this scoring board, mm -hmm. because if you score down at the five mil divisions, you want to try and keep the flat bit flat. If you were to push it to this side and score it down, this would start raising up as you're scoring it, and then it, it, you're not going to get exactly five mil. So you get your scoring tool, hold it tight, and then just score down. Does it matter um, how close to the edge you start, or...? Um, if you start from top to bottom, it then means that you can use all of the piece of card. Yeah. Um, what I'm doing, I won't be using a piece of card that's this w that is this wide, but it just saves a lot of time. If you're making lots of these, it saves much more time to score. You know, I mean, this is half a sheet of scrapbook paper. Um, you can score the whole lot. Now, it's going to take me ages to score the whole lot, mm -hmm. but when you've finished, you will end up with a piece of scored card like this. Okay. What you can do is you can do um, what's known as a double score. If you want to flip it over and score it on the other side, you can. But in this sort of weight paper, now this is a decent paper stock. I wouldn't call it card stock. Um, the, the folds on it are enough for you to get a valley fold and a mountain fold. You know normally when you score mm. a card blank, you score it and then bend it that way. Mm. Um, we will be bending in opposite directions, but the card is strong, um, strong enough to withstand it. So that's going to be... A 12 inch piece of scrapbooking paper yeah, isn't it? Yeah, 12 inches long. Now what, you, what you'll do is you'll be joining this up in a circle mm -hmm. so what you'll have to bear in mind is if you've got a 12 inch long piece of card um, it will make the largest circle will be a diameter here of nine centimetres say. Don't cut this too wide otherwise what you'll find is it will, it will only go halfway round you won't be able to get a full circle. Yeah. With this bigger one that I've got here this is actually two 12 inch long pieces that I've joined together to make the really big one. So I'm going to cut this about four centimetres wide because then that gives me four and four is eight with a gap in the middle makes nine centimetres. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So just cut it down and what I've done is I've, I'm cutting down with the stripes so that you get a nice stripe design. Yeah. Um, and then you simply start folding back and forth with a concertina like this. You could always have a play with other patterns as well, couldn't you? What, with other patterned papers? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I thought you meant other pat patterns of concertina then. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I say, with this, this print is what I've made this one with. Yeah. Um, and what's nice is because that is a regular print and it almost lines up with the five mils. Yep. So you keep folding like this. Now, I'm just going to ask you Don't to you carry on that. folding this because I now need to cut a circle of glitter card to mount it on. I went off glitter card for a while because um, I didn't really know what to do with it and actually How could it's you go ideal glitter for this. Card? Well, it's just one of those things you just think it's too glittery after a while. Impossible. <laughs> so I've got here a circle template. These have been invaluable. I don't actually have the die cutting machine that these goes with, go with, but they're great. I mean, I cut so many circles um, and I just find it much, much easier to draw around it and cut it out with scissors than to get the whole die cut machine out and do it. So you'll cut yourself a circle of glitter card and what you can do, I mean the backs of these flowers will be quite plain but you can always make two flowers and stick them back to back. Yep. Um, in fact you could hang them from strings from the ceiling, not in the garden because you have no ceiling in your garden, but you know you could hang mm -hmm. them from trees. So we'll cut a circle of glitter, glitter card and then I'm just going to lay some double sided tape on the glitter card because what I'll need to do is when we have the concertina in the flower shape, we'll need to press it down onto this. Uh, and you'll need something that hasn't got an instant bond because you will need to manipulate your concertina to get it in the right place. So how are you doing? I'm going to admit I'm not doing very well, <laughs> Corinne. I'm not a professional. 
Do you want me to grab it back from you? Probably a good plan. Oh, let me just try and peel this bit of tape off. The other thing that you do have to watch with glitter card is sometimes you don't always get a good addition with things like tape. Um, these are fine. I mean, once it's stuck, it is stuck. And the other thing is we'll be sticking a um, skewer up inside the flower at some point to keep it going. Uh, to keep it going? To keep it um, steady so we can stick it in a pot. Yep. Um, and the extra glue that we'll put on there will also help stick the flower to the glitter card. Put a piece of double-sided tape on one fold here. Peel off the backing. And I'm just going to fold that in. There's no exact science to this, is uh, it? It's no. kind of... That's why it makes it so easy. And then you stick it into a ring like this. OK? And then what you need to do is if you gather up your concertinas... Yep. Oh, it's easier said than done. There you go. Gather up your concertinas like this that you've folded. Do you use double-sided paper for this? Or um, it doesn't does really it matter. matter no, I mean, to side? be honest, you don't have to. All right, here we go. There we go. Simply push it down. That's why, so you don't have to worry yeah. too much about getting the folds of the concertina absolutely back. As long as you can push it down to make that circle. Yep. And then we'll just lift it up, guide it over this... I've cut my ring of glitter too small. You can't see the glitter on the other side. And then you can press it in place like this. So there's How one. How big was that circle on the back? The oh, circle sorry. on the back obviously wasn't big enough. Oh. <laughs> like I say, it's not an exact science. No. Um, here's a piece, a narrower piece that I've already folded because I knew how long it was going to take to fold that concertina. Another piece of double-sided tape. Improvising a bit, isn't it? Yeah. I'll just make it short and sweet because these are, once you get into this and once you've scored all your paper and folded all your paper, they are very simple to make. This one will just fold down like this. And then what you want to try and do is sit this exactly over the folds of your first concertina and push it in in place. Yeah, that looks really pretty. While you're holding it in place... Do you want me to do that? No, you're OK. Just get some glue and push it around here. Make sure that doesn't roll off the table. <laughs> and then you can push this flower up as far as you can into the into where the tight folds are in the concertina. Mm -hmm. It will stay in place of its own accord anyway, but the glue just holds it in place. And provided you've used the le same length of card, you will have the same number of folds, so it will sit in there perfectly. Although I appear to be a fold short at the minute. Hold on. That's it. There we go. It'd be great once so you practice yeah. to make smaller ones to go on as cupcake toppers, wouldn't it? So we've got that. We'll just cut another circle of card here to go in the middle. Is that out of the glitter card yeah, again? Yeah, that's out of it. See, we will get a bit of glitter on it. I always think it's easier when you're cutting things out to cut the piece of card smaller. Oh, it, yeah, you... because then you don't get the flappy no. bits hanging around your hand. I thought it was just me, but obviously not. I have to say, cutting's not my strong point, though. Cutting quickly is not my strong point. No. OK. This will sit over the top here. And then if you just take a scalpel and push right through, grab yourself a decorative bread. Mm -hmm. Let's have one of them. If you use the diamond ones that you like. Yeah. I, was, I used to be really good with my brads. I used to keep them all in separate little compartments <laughs> so I knew where everything was. And then I thought, do you know what? I don't ever use half of these no. because I don't know what I've got anymore. So I now find it much easier to stick it in one big jar and normally tip it out all over the table. I have to say I've colour-coordinated mine. <laughs> right. In fact, I can show you the end of this skewer. The gap that you've got between your backing sheet and your concertina, mm -hmm. you can put a bit of glue on there and just push that skewer up into the flower to keep it on the stick. Um, and as I say, these are just single-sided, but this one here, I've just brightened up the back. You would put some decoration over the back of the bread. 
With that double-sided paper, yeah. you've got quite a nice big flower on the back there. Brilliant. So there you go, concertina flowers. Very Brilliant. simple to make. Thanks, Corinne. That's all we have time for here today. Thanks for joining us.